which is the three digit number divisible by seven so this you can solve it by directly dividing the numbers by seven or otherwise divisibility rule by seven is suppose take the second option 133 so take the last digit six double it it will become six take the last digit three double it it will become six subtract this six from the preceding number like 13 minus 6 the result is 7 if the result is divisible by 7 then the number is divisible by 7 so here the correct option is 2 133 is divisible by 7 so one more I'll check see like 137 the rule is like take the last digit double it it will become 14 so 13 minus 14 is minus 1 it is not divisible by 7 so the correct option is 133 the sixth term in the GP 2 8 32 so on so here the first term a is 2 and in GP common ratio that is a2 by a1 so 8 by 2 which is 4 now we need to find nth term nth term formula is a r power n minus 1 so sixth term we need to find sixth term so a r power 6 minus 1 a is 2 common ratio is 4 whole power 6 minus 1 that is like 5 so 2 4 you can write as 2 power 2 whole power 5 so 2 into 2 power 10 so 2 power 10 or you can directly calculate 4 power 5 that is 2 power 10 is 1024 so if we we'll multiply that with 2, we will get 2048. So the sixth term in the GP is 2048. The correct option is 3. 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus so on up to n terms. So here sum to n terms. In this series, the first term is 1. And common difference is like a2 minus a1. So common difference is 0. So sum to n terms formula is like n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d so n by 2 2a first term n minus 1 into d is 0 so here n by 2 2 times 1 is 2 and this total will become like 0 so 2 2 cancel so you are left with n so correct option is 3 1 plus 3 plus 6 plus 10 plus so on n terms so which of the following is correct like so here so if you do by trial and error like first take three terms 1 plus 3 plus 6 if we'll take three terms and if you'll add it we'll get 10 okay because see it is not exactly in AP okay and this is not in JP so do by trial and error for 10th class now see here if we'll take this third option third option and if three terms if I am taking n into n plus 1 into n plus 2 by 6 so three terms when I am adding I am getting the result as 10 so substitute in place of n 3 3 into 3 plus 1 into 3 plus 2 so 3 into 4 into 5 by 6 3 times 1 3 times 2 2 times 1 2 times 2 2 into 5 okay you got it correct so check for one more like take four terms now 1 plus 3 plus 6 plus 10 if you add all this you are getting 20 so substitute again in the same option like see you took now four terms 4 into 4 plus 1 into 4 plus 2 by 6 4 into 5 into 6 by 6 6 and 6 cancel 4 times 5 20 so here by trial and error you need to check this one this one and this one so here i'll get the correct option is three if k comma two lies in second quadrant then minus k comma minus two okay now see if it is in second quadrant second quadrant here it will be like negative and positive so in first quadrant positive positive in the third one negative negative so here positive negative so this is first second third fourth so here very clearly they told k comma 2 lies in second quadrant so k comma 2 k value 
is negative because if it is in second quadrant it is negative so example I'll take k as like minus 7 so this is k comma 2 then minus k minus 2 because see this is in which quadrant second quadrant okay now minus k minus 2 so for k is how much minus 7 so minus of minus 7 it will become like plus 7 and minus 2 so plus minus it will come in fourth quadrant so correct option is like 4 so here because 7 minus 2 plus minus lies in fourth quadrant so by taking like this example some values you can solve this one the point of intersection of the lines 2x plus 3y minus 5 equals 0 and 3x minus 4y plus 1 equals 0 lies in which quadrant so solve these two equations so here like 2x plus 3y minus 5 equals 0 3x minus 4y plus 1 equals 0 so I'll do this by elimination so first one I'll multiply with 4 second one with 3 so 8x plus 12y minus 20 equals 0 so here 9x minus 12y plus 3 equals 0 it's minus so already plus minus is there so I'll add these two equations 9 plus 8 17x minus 17 equals 0 17 times x equals 17 so x is 17 by 17 so x value is 1 so you got the value of x substitute substitute the value of x in any one of the equation take the first one 2x plus 3y minus 5 so 2 times 1 plus 3 times y 2 plus 3y minus 5 3y minus 3 equals 0 3y equals 3 y equals 1 so the point is 1 comma 1 so both the values are positive so if see in the first quadrant I already told first quadrant positive positive negative positive in third quadrant both are like negative in the fourth one positive negative so here we have both the values positive so it lies in first quadrant so correct option is like 1 0 0 1 0 0 minus 4 are the vertices of which triangle like see if we we'll plot directly instead of solving by using distance formula if we we'll plot it 0 0 will be here and 1 0 this point will be like 1 comma 0 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 will take 0 minus 4 will be here so this is 0 minus 4 so you will get a right angle triangle if you will join the points you will get a right angle triangle see this side is 1 and this side is 4 and this will be the hypotenuse so definitely it will be greater than these two so all three sides are different equilateral no chance isosceles is not possible because this is 1 and this is 4 and this is hypotenuse it's a right angle it is right angle isosceles also not possible because this is hypotenuse the other two sides are not equal so here you have right angle triangle just right angle triangle so correct option is 4 points are collinear so find the value of k so 8 comma 1 k minus 4 2 minus 5 so x1 y1 x2 y2 x3 y3 so here if the points are collinear area will be 0 so half mod x1 into y2 minus y3 plus x2 into y3 minus y1 plus x3 into y1 minus y2 equals 0 so here if we we'll substitute half mod x1 is 8 y2 is minus 4 minus y3 minus of minus plus 5 x2 is k y3 is minus 5 y1 is 1 x3 is 2 y1 is 1 plus 4 equals 0 so 
half mol 8 times 1 plus k into minus 6 plus 2 into 5 equals 0. So 8 times 1 is 8 minus 6k 2 times 5 is 10 equals 0 and this 2 if I multiply 0 times. So 18 minus 6k equals 0. 18 minus 6k equals 0. So you can write here like 18 minus 6k equals 0. 18 equals 6k. So k equals 18 by 6. So 3. So the value of k is 3. So the correct option is 3. So but you can solve this in an alternate method like slope formula. Slope formula is y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1. So if we we'll take here like a, b, okay, and uh, b, c, b, c, c is 2 comma minus 5. So now slope of a, b, y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 slope of bc because if they are collinear collinear means three points lie on the same straight line so if they are on the same straight line slope of ab will be equal to slope of bc so here you can calculate for this slope y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 here y2 minus of minus so it is plus 4 by 2 minus k so this is minus 5 into 2 minus k here minus 1 into k minus 8 minus 10 plus 5k minus k minus into minus plus 8 so 5k plus k is 8 plus 10 so which is nothing but 6k equals 18 6k equals 18 so k equals 3 so the value of k is 3 if the slope of the line 2 comma minus 7 and x comma 5 is 3 we need to find x 2 comma minus 7 x comma 5 slope is 3 slope formula is y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 so this is x1 y1 x2 y2 5 minus of minus it is like plus 7 by x minus 2 is 3 so here 5 plus 7 is 12 so 12 by x minus 2 is 3 so cross multiply so you'll get like 12 by 3 is x minus 2 3 times 1 3 times 4 4 equals x minus 2 so 4 plus 2 equals x 6 equals x so the correct option is 3 the distance between the points cos theta sin theta minus sin theta cos theta so this is x1 y1 x2 y2 so under root x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square here x2 is minus sin theta minus x1 is cos theta y2 is cos theta minus sin theta see when both are minus it is nothing but a plus b whole square like how just i'll give you explanation minus a minus b whole square so in this if we'll take minus common a plus b whole square minus whole square is nothing but a plus b whole square so here also minus sin theta minus cos theta is nothing but a plus b whole square so a square plus b square plus 2 a b 
sin theta cos theta it is clearly it is in the form of a minus b whole square so a square plus b square minus 2 cos theta sin theta so here minus 2 cos theta sin theta plus 2 cos theta sin theta will get cancelled so sin square plus cos square is 1 and here sin square plus cos square is 1 root 1 plus 1 is root 2 so the correct option is 2 root 2